So now let's see how we can work around with pan and zoom effect inside of Adobe Premiere Bus. So if I were to go around and select out a video and then go to effect, then you can see that pan and zoom effect is grayed out. That is because pan and zoom is for photos and not for videos. So that's why I'm going to go around and click on the plus button right here. And let me just go around into your media section. And then I'm going to go around onto the media browser and then go around onto uh, my TTT um, drive right here. And then I'm going to go inside of images and select out an image of my choice right here and then click on add. So once I do that here, you can see that there's this image right here and this is the image that you see. So now what I can simply do is I can close this and you can see pan and zoom is uh, turned on now. So if I were to go around, you can see that there's this pan and zoom that is happening to this image right here. You can go around and expand and you can see that you can go for the end or start right here. You can go around, select out a start position and an end position over here. So you can go around, uh, go, go for end position or you can click on go to start to select out start or end position to go to the end position as well. So you can go around and start in zooming like in, in like this. So you can go around over here and you can see that there's panning in right here just like this. There, that is because this is the end. But if you want it to zoom out, you can go around onto the end and you can expand this. You can go to start right here and then you can zoom in over here just like this. Go from the beginning. And now you can see that after that, you can see that it zooms out similarly just like that. And that is how you can go around and use the pan and zoom option inside of Adobe Premiere Rust. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.